Welcome to the Arnold Bernhard Library's introductory video on CSE Citation Style. In this video, you will learn general information about CSE Style, including the version we use at Quinnipiac University, what the style includes, and where to get detailed help with formatting citations. CSE Style was created by the Council of Science Editors. It is used mainly in life sciences, but may be used in any scientific field of study. In addition to giving a standard for citing sources, CSE provides guidance on scientific writing style and formatting of content relevant to sciences, such as numbers, units of measure, chemical terminology, and disease names. At Quinnipiac, we use the 8th edition published in 2014. CSE style has three systems for formatting citations. Quinnipiac uses the name year system. We cite journal articles and book selections as if they were the print version. Some professors may require a direct link to the article along with the print citation. In CSE, you must cite sources that you have paraphrased, quoted, or otherwise used to write your research paper. Cite your sources in two places. First, in the body of your paper, where you add a brief in-text citation with the author's last name and the publication year. Second, in the reference list at the end of your paper, where you'll give more complete information for each source, listed alphabetically by the author's last name and year. The citations in the reference list follow a general format of who, when, what, and where. Here's an example of a CSE citation for a primary research article. For the in-text reference, the format is who, when. So, name the authors and state the year in parentheses. For the references at the end of your paper, the format is who, when, what, where. So here are the authors, the date, the article title, journal title, volume, issue, and location. Other videos will walk you through citing articles and a few of the most common kinds of scientific sources. The rest of this video will direct you to a more detailed guidance on citing in CSE style. Similar help exists for other citation styles, so learning to use these tools and sources will be useful to you in your other subjects. Other videos in the CSE style series show how to cite the most common kinds of sources used at Quinnipiac. These videos are available through our research guides and on the Quinnipiac University Library's YouTube channel. The Council of Science Editors has an online scientific style and format citation quick guide. This has general citation information for common sources, such as research articles, books, and websites. Specific examples for each type of source and the in-text reference for each are included. The print book, Scientific Style and Format, the CSE Manual for Authors, Editors, and Publishers, 8th edition, is on reserve at the circulation desk. You can check it out with your cue card and use it for two hours inside the library. This is the authoritative source for any questions regarding this citation style. It's a good place to look if you're citing an unusual source. The library also has a copy of A Student Handbook for Writing in Biology by Karen Nicely. The author summarizes CSE writing style and citation formatting for students and provides useful advice for writing lab reports and creating posters. Finally, RefWorks is a tool for organizing citations by class and project and for creating end references in a multitude of citation styles, including CSE. You can upload articles and other electronic documents to RefWorks. Most of our library databases can export citations to RefWorks. If you find a website or article beyond Quinnipiac's databases, the document recognition within RefWorks makes it easy to enter citations manually. You can keep your RefWorks account after graduation. The RefWorks link on the library's homepage leads to information on how to sign up for and use RefWorks. Please feel free to contact a reference librarian if you have any questions. 